I'm here in Sydney International Airport. Um, we're just about to board our flight, to, which will go to Dallas uh, in the United States. Um, I'm going with a number of friends, including Jeremy Buckingham and his wife Sarah, with my wife, of course, uh, Libby, um, Justin and Max, and uh, my, our friends uh, Peter and Kim from the Southern Highlands. And um, it's a fact-finding trip. We're, we're going over there to see um, what the impacts of coal seam gas and shale gas are on people in rural America uh, and um, what people are doing to try to mitigate those impacts. From uh, Texas we go to Colorado, um, the Powder River Basin where, um, where they've lost all their groundwater, for example, coal seam gas, uh, to Montana, um, Wyoming, and then we'll um, go over to the east coast and look at Pennsylvania where there's um, a lot of fracking going on in the Marcellus Shale um, to New York and finish up at a big anti-fracking rally in Washington towards the end of our trip. We'll certainly be catching up with people who are affected. Uh, for example, we're going to the uh, town of Dish uh, very early in our tour. That's just north of Dallas, surrounded by thousands and thousands of coal seam gas wells. Um, huge uh, cancer rate in, in the local area um, and we want to see just what the impact is there. So it's basically a combination of people who've been impacted and what their stories are and the activists and campaigners who have taken on this challenge the way we have here in Australia. I want to see what's happened in the United States. I want to see what the impact has been on uh, people who live in these regions where gas is just everywhere. And uh, I want to come back here with the knowledge that I've gained from that, the insights I've gained from affected people and from campaigners over there, uh, and do my job better here to try to make sure that people at Tara, or the people you know, in Camden, or the people you know, um, in the Illawarra or um, up at Gloucester aren't subjected to the same sort of hideous impositions that they seem to be in the United States. And, and you know, if I can see firsthand what's happening, I think I'll be—I'll uh, have extra power to my arm to do that.